Hello, wonderful friends. I want to especially welcome you to another powerful edition of uh, National Transformation. Uh, my name is Paris Ikenna Emmanuel. I am the lead pastor of Federal Leadership Churches Worldwide. I'm also the president of the International Center for Leadership, Diplomacy, Economic, and Human Development. Uh, today, I will be doing, I will be starting a series of uh, training that has to do with becoming a light to your society, becoming a light to your society. Uh, I want us to understand uh, that everyone, especially those who are Christians, especially those who are followers of Jesus Christ all over the world, in Nigeria and in Africa, I want us to understand that uh, the scriptures that we have been reading uh, from the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 14, 15, 16, and uh, 17 uh, can actually be very, 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 very simple and practical if we understand uh, how it operates. So today uh, I will be speaking specifically on influencing government and politics. Influencing government and politics. But when we talk about being a light to, to your world, it is very important we understand that the first thing or one of such things that we need to begin to influence is uh, government and uh, our politics. Over time, there has been this controversy among uh, our church people on why should someone be in politics as a Christian. That politics is a dirty game, especially uh, those of us who are pastors, they are saying, why should a pastor be part of uh, the political system? I ran for elections in my state previously, and I'm also running. Uh, this is 2022, 20, uh, and I want to let us know that in 2023, uh, 2024, the elections will go on in different parts of my country, Nigeria. And I want us to understand those things. Everyone that is a Christian, uh, your light is not meant to be uh, uh, dissipated inside the church. You are the light of the world. Uh, you are not the light of the church. And one of such areas where we need to dissipate our light, we need to make our light very practical, is in the area of government and uh, politics. I want everybody to realize that uh, a lot of people misunderstand the concept of uh, politics and the concept of uh, government or governance because they think that once you want to get into politics that you're going to be a bad person, you're going to be a killer, you're going to be an assassin, you're going to be a born liar, you're going to tell lies, you're going to do a whole lot of uh, dirty things. But I want to let you know that all those who have been part of politics have not been able to do all those things. That shows you that it is possible for you to be in politics without doing those things. All you need is to build a lot of capacity around your life as a Christian and as uh, a person that desires to make a change. The first thing you need to do or you need to begin to build up if you want to be a light, if you want to influence government and if you want to influence the political sector is to have a well-articulated human development vision, a well-articulated human development vision. One of the reasons why people do not want to enter into uh, into politics, or they say that politics is bad because many people, 99% of people in politics, uh, do not have the vision. So, if you want to really be a light in the area of government and politics, you must have a vision. What, what is, is your vision? vision? What, what do you want, want to do? And that vision must be centered on nothing else but on empowering human beings and making sure that this is why I want to get into uh, government, this is why I want to get into politics. The second thing you must do if you want to, part, to be part of uh, uh, the government and politics is to join a political party or join a government system. You can actually join a government system uh, by, if, but let's say for example, if you're a lawyer, you can join the Judicial Service uh, Commission. If you are in Nigeria, join the system and then grow from that place to become a magistrate, to become a, a judge or to become a high court judge or court of appeal judge or a supreme court judge you must find a way and um, get yourself into the system if you really want to also influence any of the ministries maybe minister of education minister of science and technology ministry of uh, youth and sports minister of women development uh, ministry of uh, finance and economic advancement or whatever ministry or minister of sports and entertainment 
you need to also find a way to get yourself involved in the civil service commission that means you have to become um, an employee of the government you must become an employee of the government so that you can actually begin to influence such kind of environment and for those of you that are listening to me that you think that you do not have the capacity to contest for any uh, position you need to also find someone and support is either you are sponsoring somebody in politics or you're contesting election or you're giving someone advice nobody can actually influence the government or political sector without getting involved in anything that has to do with the political sector or the government sector and this is one of the things that very many people christians and non-christians maybe religious people let me use that word who do not want to get involved into politics because they believe that once they get into that place someone is going to contaminate them someone is going to get them into something that is dirty but i want to let you know that if you can't do anything without getting involved that's why i decided to join a political party that's i decided to get involved in uh, introducing my own expertise a lot of people let me talk to some lawyers some of us are lawyers some of, of some of us are tech experts some of us are uh, education consultants some of us are public health experts you don't you may not need to contest for the post of the president of your country or the governor of your country or any governor uh, in your country or the post of the senator or house of rep member but you can actually prayerfully uh, by uh, uh, political permutation put things together and sponsor a particular candidate you can actually be a party chairman you can actually be a woman leader you can actually be a youth leader you can actually be a mobilizer you can actually be a social media um, expert for a political aspirant or candidate you can actually be uh, the lawyer of a political party you must actually get involved you know politics and government is very very important because it determines the kind of food you eat it determines uh, the kind of environment that you must live in it means the security a government determines a whole lot of things about your life when you're born the government will give you a government certificate when you're getting married they give you a government certificate when you are dead they're going to give you a death certificate everything that has to do with you has to do with government your child is in primary school graduating and doing a first school living certificate if you're in nigeria you need a certificate you go to school you need a government certificate if you want to register your business you need certificate from the government you want to register your school you need certificate from the government you want to register your company you want to register your hospital there are regulations there are rules and regulations that has to do with uh, uh, regulating anything that anybody is going to do in any particular society whether it's in america whether it's in asia europe in africa in nigeria anywhere so why shouldn't you as a good man why shouldn't you as a religious person why shouldn't you as a christian why shouldn't you as a child of god get involved in that particular thing that is determining almost 99 percent of everything that has to do with your life I, I, one time american president made a statement he said people are complaining why he's bringing christianity into his politics and he said if i don't bring christianity into my political ambition and drive it will come to a point where the political ambition of these negative people will affect the way i behave as a christian let's say for instance uh, the issue of uh, lawful assembly uh, let's say you are a church person you are a muslim or you are a religious person you go to a worship center and uh, the government gives an instruction and says today nobody is coming out because of one reason or the other even though it is lawful for you to gather to worship god to associate with people but once the government gives that instruction you don't have any option but to obey the government the government is in charge of the police the government is in charge of the army the government is in charge of your children's school and welfare the government is in charge of virtually everything that has to do with your life and i want to let you know that god also has ordained government for the regulation of life and society so it's important that every one person that desires to be a light in the government or political sector uh, must make sure that you get involved i, I want to also let you know uh, i wouldn't have the time to read all that in ephesians chapter 1 uh, verse number 17 18 19 and 20. I read it from the message translation immediately after now 
you will understand why God has decided that everyone that is a good man should get into politics. He said that God has given Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior to everyone that is a believer. And the reason why he has given it to us is so that we can administer the galaxies and so that we can teach the world how to run government. The scripture you know too well is Isaiah 9, verse 6, 7, and 8. He said, The government shall be on his shoulder, and he shall be called Wonderful, Counsel, Almighty God, Everlasting Father. And uh, the, from, uh, the, the, the beginning and the end of his throne shall be from everlasting to everlasting. And he shall administer it with judgment, equity, and fairness. These are all government terminologies. I want you to know, and I want everyone that is a Christian in Nigeria, a Christian in Africa, a Christian all over the world, wherever you are, make sure that you get involved in all aspects of leadership, especially government and uh, political leadership. As we engage those systems, I believe so strongly that we can begin to influence our lives. The next thing you need to do if you want to influence that particular sector is to build a lot of capacity. Uh, you need to build uh, intellectual capacity because politics and uh, governance all over the world, international standard of politics and governance and uh, government administration has to do with intellectualism. It's not just about your prayer or however you wish. Nobody can bring you to become a commissioner of finance if you have not built a lot of capacity in the area of finance. Nobody can recommend you to be a vice president without a strong pedigree of some kind of uh, influence in the area of administration, uh, law, international diplomacy, or whatever I'm talking about, the ideal situation in a sane society. I want you to also know that politics has to do with money. You need to also build a lot of financial muscle in order for you to sponsor a candidate or begin to push an ideology if you want to contest for any uh, position as an aspirant or a candidate of a political system. I want you to also know that you need to build spiritual capacity. Spiritual capacity can never be relegated to the background when it has to do with becoming a light uh, in the area of government and politics. I want you to know something that there are a lot of forces that is going to rise up against you. People are not going to like you. It's not a bed of roses. Politics is not a bed of roses. A lot of people are involved in politics, diabolic people, occultic people, people that use all manner of uh, means and all that. Especially in Africa, somebody can actually kill you because of uh, an elective position. Somebody can actually poison your wife. Somebody can actually uh, use one kind of enchantment against you. I want you to know that the place of spirituality can never be overemphasized. If you read the book of Esther, you discover that whatever that played out between Mordecai, Esther, and Haman, just go ahead and read chapter 1 to chapter 6 uh, from the message translation. You discover that it has to do with nothing else but the conflict of people in government who is going to be in charge, who is going to be in control. But you know what? Uh, because of prayers and fasting, because of confidence on the, on the side of Mordecai and prayer and fasting that has been uh, uh, saturating in the atmosphere as it were, uh, that was how Mordecai had to push out Haman. And without much ado, the people of God and the people had peace. And the proposed genocide by Haman was actually diverted. I want you to know that we can actually save lives when we get involved in politics. I want us to know that we can actually change lives when we get involved in government. I want you to know that life can actually be better for people in that particular jurisdiction. And in your constituency, in your local government, in your senatorial zone, in your county, in your nation, and in Africa in general. There is a whole lot of things that we can do as God's people if we get involved in politics. If you keep politics for bad people, there can be development, there can be transformation. In fact, you cannot even worship God the way you want to if you leave politics in the hands of people. So, till I see you in the next video, make sure that you take this step immediately and join a political party and go through this video one more time and understand the roles you can actually play uh, in the area of government and politics in your country. So, everyone that is in Africa that is watching this video now and everyone all over the world, please get away from that bias that politics is not meant to be done by people that are Christians, people that are religious, or people that are good. It's because we have left it for those who are bad. That's why it is bad, just like any other system. So do well and get connected with us as we take you through some mentorship if you want us to mentor you in that area. Let's get connected. 
on the phone number that is on the screen and also check up our website www.i-goldafrica.com and more especially share this video with your friends and let's also get connected and share this message to everyone for us to wake up and do the needful and also click on the like button should in case we get to the next video you are going to follow up this series of becoming a light to your society till i see you next time i remain your friend by Kenna emmanuel i'm going to take some time to talk about becoming a light in the educational sector becoming a light in the business sector becoming a light uh, in the media sector becoming a light in the medical sector becoming a light uh in the religious sector becoming a light in the family sector so this series is going to be huge and powerful till i see you do have a wonderful time god bless you